Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're playing some more Starfield. It's been a while since I personally played this, but you guys have more than likely finished watching all of the current videos that I uploaded at the time of this recording. So this is you know I'm here. It feels like walking into a dream. <coughs> I'm okay. It's just so surreal. Phew. Okay, so let me get my bearings for a moment. Cool, yes. some points. Yes, this looks correct. Those rock formations nearby look familiar. My old campsite shouldn't be far. Yes, exactly. Since most of my gear was destroyed, I depended on those landmarks to orient myself while I was stranded. <sighs> Once we get to the campsite, we'll use that as a starting point to search for the crew's shuttle wreckage. <sighs> Let's go. All right. Now can I hasn't changed a bit. Talk to you I'd and be get happy to carry a few things. My gun back. Yes, this one is what I want right here. Okay, so now, this one is, uh, excuse me, good lordy, dude. I will give you and then equip this one and equip this one. I want this gun back because it is not burst fire. <clears throat> I'm anxious right. to find my old crash site. Come on. Yeah, no, that's that's a lot better. No, we're not doing that mode. We're not doing that mode. All right. Now, make a save. So that we don't have to go through all of that nonsense again. Alrighty. Wait, I forgot how to jump. Oh, there we go. Huh. I forgot how to jump. It's not A, it's Y. Or, or triangle. No. No, that's right. This isn't on PlayStation. Oh, shappity crappity. It will be one day, though. I'm sure. Don't you guys worry. I'll be on there one day. If not, just buy a PC. Or bear off the PC anyway. Because, yes. More variety of games on PC. That's how I do that. This must be some debris from my shuttle. Not exactly a textbook landing, but I didn't have much of a choice. Okay, then. And then I don't have any granadas. Okay, yeah, I don't have any. I don't have any grenaders. Fair enough. Can I go in the ship though? I can. I can go in it. Now I've tried to do this before. But I had the wrong weapon equipped, which is what she has now. Whatever you guys do, don't use burst fire guns. Burst fire guns are, they're, they're, they're caca. Don't ever use them. Well, this is it. This is the spot where I spent close to a year waiting for rescue. Not exactly Paradiso, is it? Nah, nothing is. 
I never said I walked away. <sighs> when my ship hard landed on the surface, it broke apart. There was no fire, but I was... Well, I was pretty badly injured. Had to crawl from the wreckage. When they finally rescued me, the UC medics said I had three broken ribs, shattered my ulna, and had internal organ damage. I was in the medical ward, recovering for almost six weeks. Damn. Yeah? Well, inside I'm a shattered wreck. So, joke's on both of us, I suppose. Look at this thing. It's been <coughs> sitting here rusting. I think we need to grab an emergency power cell to get the ship's computer up and running. Uh, this one. <laughs> Cute. But when I was stranded, <coughs> I set up a distress beacon powered by emergency power cells. The beacon was up there on the plateau. I guess it's time to start climbing. And we gotta go that way. And we gotta fight the monsters over there. Okay. Fair enough, game. Fair enough. Is that an ore? It is. You know what? I'll take that. Sure. I don't mind. Because it's here. Why not? I'm pretty sure everyone else who's done content for a YouTuber or Twitch has already finished playing this wonderful gym of a game. But honestly, I need to re-favorite this, don't I? How do I do that again? Uh, oh yeah, duh. I need to re-favorite this. New items. Favorite. Fiber carapace. God, man. I cannot wait for the next Outer Scrolls. It's gonna be so fun playing with these graphics, or even better graphics, honestly. Like, uh, I know it's a long ways away, but I'm looking forward to it. I really am. They've already announced that the next Outer Scrolls is gonna have, um, the same leveling system as Skyrim, which I approve of, thank God. If it works, don't fix it. Now if they can just like, you know, remake the older Elder Scrolls games, you know, modern graphics and, you know, yeah, Skyrim's leveling system. Oh yeah, you know I'll pay 60 bucks for those, definitely, because, yes, I know they're currently on Steam, but um, I tried one of them and I could not even kill a single rat. So, because I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't know I had to do the combat. So I was like, eh, I don't care. Just remake them, Todd, please. Like, take the time Setting and up this beacon probably saved remake them. Who knows how long I would have been stranded here. People want remakes nowadays, so, you know, there's that. Because newer games are... Except for Baldur's Gate 3, apparently. Which I've not played yet. This is a shoddy. We want this one. <laughs> they can't get me now. When in doubt, use a better gun. Ha! <laughs> Now I'm even better. 
The next Mass Effect in first person. Oh, hey, Bioware. Oh. Oh, wait, no, no. Bioware can't do that because they're under EA's rule. EA won't allow that. Hey, um, Xbox, can you buy out Bioware? Oh. <gasps> <gasps> That'd be wonderful. Hey, uh, um, Xbox, just buy out Bioware. Get him free from tyranny's hands. <laughs> they didn't make bot. They didn't make Dragon Age great again. <laughs> Because it's not their fault that Dragon Age sucks. It's EA's fault that Dragon Age sucks. Or Mass Effect and Trauma sucks. Or, or, or Anthem sucks. It's not their fault. It's EA's fault. It's their, um, their oppressor's fault that the game sucks. I mean, do we, do we need Cobalt? Or copper? I mean, I guess we're here. Why not? It won't hurt. Can't do that in freaking normally in the sky. Ha! I wonder if No Man's Sky will adopt this mechanic or not. Where you can tighten up the beam. They've adopted pretty much everything else from other games. Why not this mechanic? The only thing they've not adopted is um, allowing us to land our own ships and take off on our own ships. The game still does that for you. <coughs> Wait, what did I say? Hold on. Wait. Contusions. Oh, because I fell too much, I guess. Eh, who cares? I mean... Soreness. Melee attacks use O2. They always use O2. They always use O2. All that does is make it to where it doesn't use as much. Yeah. They're supposed to use stamina, right? Like... That makes no sense. They're supposed to use this as a resource. All that does is make it to where it doesn't use as much. Do so I have anything to heal that with? I'm, I'm curious now, hold on. Aid. Yeah, okay, so that's, that's gone now. Okay, I guess I'm wrong, but in my opinion, these should take stamina. But they don't. So that's, that's not a bad... That's not a bad side effect at all, honestly. That's, no, that's not bad at all. Eh, whatever. Oh yeah, look, I have this. Who needs a power supply when you have this? Oh, now I don't need it anymore. Noise. What did I just pick up? New items. I don't need this. Because it's not a crafting component like it is in Fallout 4. That weighs a bit too much. I want to drop this and this for now. Because I don't know what I need and I really don't care. 
1% extra fuel lot? Oh, I mean, by one, it's, it's only 1%. Is it really worth having? Is it really worth having? And it's only for the grab jump. We have infinite fuel. Who cares about that? We've located where the other shuttle went down. I can't believe our plan worked. We shouldn't celebrate until we... Yeah, I, I suppose you're right. Hmm. The telemetry data puts the wreckage out of range to hike. We're going to have to head back to the ship and land on a different part of the planet. Let's get going. Mm-hmm. Let's get going then. And all of a sudden a massive boss fight out of nowhere. And I get my butt handed to me. Because that's how this game works. I was right! <laughs> okay, it's time to retire that gun. <laughs> It's time to retire that gun. Definitely time to retire that gun. That gun is no bueno. Oh yeah, I need to use a um a medic pack. <coughs> mm -hmm. I keep trying to press A to jump and it's not A. <laughs> it is not A to jump at all. Yeah, we're gonna be using this gun from now on. How much money do I have? Where's my money? Is it over here? Yeah, oh, I got a hundred thousand. I'm I'm good on money. Oh my lord. Yeah, I want to retire that gun. I think I can probably use it for um other stuff, but high level enemies is not gonna work out for me anymore. You want to talk? If okay. the other crash site turns out to be a dead end, I don't know what I'll do. It's only a short hop to the second crash site. Yeah, you say uh, that, but... Um... Transfer... Resources, because you never know, we might need this stuff. Store all resources. No, I hit the wrong button. Whoops. Store all resources. Nice. That works out wonders. Now, how fat is my ship? <laughs> how fat is my ship? That was not fat at all. Okay, cool. How fat am I? Where's my mass? Oh, 62 out of... Do I have a point I can use? I do. Can I get more weight? I could get more weight, but I would have to walk around a lot for it to work. Or more, more health, stealth. Ooh. Oh, I can get more stealth. I might get more stealth. <clears throat> or I could get more of this. Or... Ooh, actually... 
extra ammo when searching containers, and basically everything is a container. Everything is a container. Yes, I will take that and raise you a donut. Everything counts as a container. Hey Dad, wanna hear a joke? I got a joke, but I don't know if I can say it on YouTube or not because, you know, reasons. Because, you know, people nowadays are, um, too sensitive and, and they need to grow up. Ubering into position. And we are now in stable work. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I have these overpowered guns that never run out of energy at all. Yeah, never run out of energy whatsoever. Fitness skill increases oxygen available. I've also heard it allows you to jump like. No, was that? No, that's athletics. Is it fitness or athletics that lets you jump like you can in oblivion? I don't know, and I really don't care. Should be plenty of organic materials to harvest from this well. Organic or inorganic? There's a difference. What's this tree? What is all this crap, dude? What the heck, dude? How do I activate my, um, my scanner again? I forgot. Oh, yeah, I gotta just do that. <laughs> I forgot. I got. I can't just hold it down. I gotta press it once. Duh. Derp, 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 derp. <laughs> Clairvoyance from Skyrim. Nice. I hope, I hope they take out clairvoyance as a spell. I really do, because it was kind of pointless. I mean, do we need this? I mean, if, if I need it, I can get it later. Who cares? <laughs> I don't know if I need it or not, honestly. And I really don't care. Oh, look at this view. Had I been on this planet under more pleasant circumstances, I might have had more time to approve. Oh, well, I mean, sure, I'll use this gun. I don't mind. You took my XP, you biscuit. How dare you? I don't agree with that mechanic, Devs. Fix that, please. I don't agree with that mechanic. Fix that. Companion should give you XP. They do in Fallout and Skyrim. I mean, in Fallout. Eh, only one, only one XP. Big deal. Who cares? Not worth it. Fourteen, though. Hell yeah, dude. So it knows we're here. Awesome. Oh, yeah, I forgot this gun does that. Oh yeah. Make sure you strip everything useful from that thing. <laughs> Am I gonna see a dragon in this game? I hope I do. Oh, it'd be fun. Oh, it'd be fun if I did. 
You're not worth killing, I'm sorry. You're really not worth killing. Now for a measly 1 XP. Now if you give me like 20 or more, then yes. Had to be night time, didn't it? Mm. This is what's left of the cruise shuttle. But it looks like parts were scavenged and dragged somewhere else. Could there have been survivors? Hmm. Why can't I jump? Thank you. I would say that is survivors, all right. Yeah. Now I'm too high up. Shuttle main cabin, huh? Well, let's go in, shall we? <coughs> People are still alive. Stop. I'll, I'll shoot if I have to. Just turn around and, and leave. I know how to use this thing, and I will. Oh my god. Who... Are you? I'm nobody. Just go away. I'm not going to let anyone take my stuff again. No way. Both of you, just go. Hey, I'm not stupid. Last time people were here, they promised to help. They ended up tricking me. They stole all of my good stuff and left me behind. I'm not going to let that happen ever again. Answers? About what? How do I know you're telling the truth? Stop it right now. Put away that gun and talk to us. We want to know what happened here. See? You're not nice at all. I knew it. You're a liar. That's all grown-ups do is lie. Sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> I was wrong to get so angry. We are here to help you. And we promise to tell the truth. I don't know. You're kind of scaring me. Why should I listen to you? <clears throat> the crew? No one's been looking for that crew since before I was born. So tell me another lie. Go ahead. You were born here. Hold on. Oh my god. Your parents. Your mom and your dad. What were their names? Jenna and Elias. Why? Jenna and Elias. Private Jenna Marsh <coughs> and Corporal Elias Oberist. You're the head. Daughter, listen to me. I knew your parents. They worked with me on the Dauntless. I'm Commander Sarah Morgan. You're Sarah Morgan? Mom and Dad's captain? My parents used to talk about you all the time. It's like a dream to finally meet you. My parents told me she was in command of their ship in a huge battle. They said she was a hero and the bravest person they ever knew. I know this is Cass... C Cassiopeia. I've been here since I was born. I know my mother and father were from Gemson or something like that. 
I bet it's like a thousand miles away. Yeah, well, you're too late. My parents are dead. <coughs> my father died a long time ago. And my mother, she was killed by those, those monsters at the graveyard. It's just me here now, all by myself. Let me ask you a question. Oh, actually, I don't even know your name. Oh, yeah. My name's Sona. Sona? <laughs> what a lovely name. Sona, you mentioned a graveyard. Is that where the crew is, um, you know? Buried? Yeah. It's a bunch of stones with those necklaces, like the ones my mom and dad had hanging on them. Thank you, Sona. I'm going to talk to my friend here a minute, okay? Okay, Sarah. Phew. I don't even know where to begin. Hmm. Yeah. This isn't what I expected at all. Oh, there's so much to process. But I don't have time to deal with it right now. If you want to help, then find that graveyard and bring me those necklaces Sona mentioned. I'm hoping they're my crew's gene tags. Good. Just be careful. Sona's monsters are undoubtedly hostile life forms that have claimed the graveyard as their territory. Eighty clicks this way. Okay. <coughs> well, I don't know where that is because this is a freaking jungle. That ship that has ended is what I'm talking about. And I'm not gonna try to hunt it down. You see what's me right now? No, she's not I'm gambling myself. Fair enough. I can maybe get a sneak attack game. Let me make a save. I've not saved yet in a while. Um This one. So there are monsters here, and they're basically like praying mantis flower things. This is kind of cool, actually. Where does the body go? Yeah, that's basically what they are. I like that. That's cool. Just sneak up here instead of just doing what we're doing. In case we get more enemies. So we're apparently detected right now, but there's nothing around us. Ah!
I hit it. I heard it hit something. Okay, there's a graveyard. Dauntless's crew crash site. Okay, I'm gonna make another save because why not? No, I kind of want this on so I can see better. Uh, hmm. Nine XP. So it got way up here. Okay, that's. I mean, okay. that's cool. I guess. So I gotta find these gene tags. Are there any more or is that all of them? I don't see any more up here at all. Okay, the radar just flashed red. I wonder why. This gun is stupid. <laughs> Oh, this gun is stupid. Did I get them all or is it... I got them all, okay. A silver fish, huh? Interesting. Interesting. Okay then. Where'd it go? I don't see it now. I don't see it. Where did it go? <laughs> I don't see it. I don't like this. Where did it go? Oh, it's way down there. Holy crap, that's awesome. This gun tears into a new one. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Guess, uh, yeah, I'll be using this from now on. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. I need to get this thing silenced <laughs> if I can. I'm not sure if I'm able to or not there right now. But hopefully, eventually, I can. Because once I can, oh boy. Okay, the fact that I can walk on the trees is just, yes. <laughs> it is amazing. I love it, man. All right, what's all this over here? Huh. Huh. Okay. 
Holy crap. It gets dark in this game. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. Until we figure out what to do about Sona, no, we don't have anything no, to talk no, about. No, 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 How many times do I have to say it? I said I don't want to go. Leave me alone. Sona, calm down and listen to me. It's much too dangerous to stay here all by yourself, darling. I don't care. This is my home. You can't make me leave. We can't leave her here. It's not safe. She has to come back with us to Jemison. Oh, I don't know what to do. Can you talk to her? Mm. I knew I could depend on you. Now all we have to do is convince this poor girl that she's better off leaving the planet with us. I just... I don't know if I have it in me to say the right things. I can hear you talking about me, and I don't care what either of you say. I'm not going anywhere. Look, I'm clearly out of my element here and not in the right state of mind. Could you just talk to her, please? Allow her to stay or convince her to go. Well, in case I fluff this up, we're going to do this one. Mm -hmm. Why won't Sarah listen to me? I've been alone for a long time. And even when bad people visit, I've been safe. That still doesn't mean I should leave the only home I ever had, does it? Mm. I, I never thought of it that way. But uh, leaving mom and dad behind, it's really hard. Even though they're dead, I don't want to abandon them. Hey, yeah, maybe I could get a cool ship just like yours. I'm sorry I yelled at everybody. I know you and Sarah are just trying to help. I'm going to go get my stuff and then I'll board your ship. Don't worry, I'll stay out of the way until we get, well, wherever we're going. Awesome. Oh, is that what I think it is? Permanently, permanently use, permanently use. I oh got, I can't speak today. Permanently use 15% less oxygen while... Me oh. No. No. Put that away. We're not here to shoot people. That's kind of worth it. Is there any more stuff I can look at? Uh -oh. Where did you hide that thing at in your Never mind? That poor girl. I hope we've made the right decision. Nonsense. We're in this together. It's just... We're ripping Sona from the only home she's ever known and casting her back into society. It's going to be difficult for her to adjust to the changes. Wherever she ends up, <coughs> just promise me we'll check on her from time to time, please. Thank you. Look, um, before we leave Cassiopeia behind, I wanted to say one more thing to you. Perhaps at the overlook we passed on the way here? I promise it won't take long. Let's go. Is now following you. Okay. Let's talk another time. Lots of stuff to talk about. <laughs> Oh, now it's daytime. Well, thanks, game. It means a lot to me, I guess. 
It means a lot. <laughs> She gonna is no longer following me. Well, I mean, okay. Uh oh, I made I made a oopsie. I made an oopsie. I made an oopsie. <laughs> I made an oopsie. Can I get over there from here? That must be the um, thing they used to. That one's a lot better. Look, before we head back to the ship, I wanted <coughs> to tell you how much of an amazing gift this has been. You had to push me to come out here, and if I hadn't have listened to you, the universe would probably have never known about that little girl. And I intend to repay you for that, even if it takes the rest of my life. You know, this is the second time I've been on this world. And until this very moment, I never stopped to reflect at just how magnificent it was. Oh, look at this place. This is the reason I'm out here, exploring the stars. Worlds upon worlds just waiting to have their beauty discovered. Shedding this burden of my past has finally allowed me to open my eyes wider than they've ever been opened before. And it's all because of you. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Perhaps. I suppose we'll both have to think about that for a while now, won't we? Ah, <sighs> well. I suppose it's time to bid goodbye to Cassiopeia once again. This time, under much happier circumstances. Now, let's head back to Jemison. I want to give those gene tags you gathered to Admiral Logan and figure out what we're going to do with Sona. Is now following me again. Uh, 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 squeezing me. Might not be Jemison. But this ship is starting to feel like home. Why is my shield off like that? Go to hailing unknown vessel colonists here, and could you oh, thank you for responding? We had someone jump in and leave without even saying hi. We're with a uh, list, and we're just trying to get to our new home. But our grab drive is old, like really old, and I'm afraid it's giving up the ghost. Uh. What's a list? The League of Independent Settlers. They helped us choose a new home, outfitted us, and gave us some good advice. But uh, once you head out, you're kind of on your own. Listen, we have kids listening, so uh, let's just say affirmative. Very much affirmative. We have a workbench here, but we need just common old iron. A lot of it. Then we should be able to jury rig some repairs. Any chance you have some? Mm. We'll pay loads more than the iron's actually worth. It's just dead. The whole unit is like a brick now. No power readouts. The diagnostic log only says it's offline. Well, what we can read. I think some of the warnings are in Cyrillic. You know those old Russian letters? That explains it. That explains why. If you can find 
find or buy some iron, it's not like we're going anywhere. Thank you. Can I board them and fix it that way? Hold on, I wonder. They're back here. Can I board them, I wonder? Dad, what does superfluous mean? I just read it in my book. Nope, I have it to. Means, um, more than enough. As so I need a iron. Okay. <laughs> no! I won't have more than enough until I have a super duper fluous amount of books. I need iron for them, and I have some somewhere, but. I gotta wait for the scan to finish before I can actually land. All right. Did they fix this yet? I wonder. Will it actually take me here <laughs> and not somewhere else? Hell of a city, isn't it? Nope, they did the not fix it. In the galaxy. Wonderful. They did not fix that. Wonderful. I love when this shit gets fixed. Typical Bethesda games. It was working fun before. Like, way before I last played. Well, actually, yeah. Way before when I last play, like when I first started playing the game, it was working just fine. But then all of a sudden, it just quit. It just quit working. Before the first update came out, it just quit working. <laughs> don't ask me why. I I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, I'm here. I could get the twenty iron. Yeah, I could get the twenty iron. I'm already here. And I can go help them out and get some money. Not that I really need the money though. But I could go do it. It wouldn't hurt. Yes? You needed something? Yeah, I just wanted to jump over you because I can. Authorized personnel only. Well, I guess I'm not authorized. I guess I'm not authorized because it says authorized personnel only. The next time terror morphs rear their ugly heads, the UC is going to be ready. Yeah, you, mean the, back. you mean the death claws? Not only that, but we found someone there, alive. A child born from two of the crew that survived the crash. After her parents died, that poor girl spent years surviving on that hostile world, alone. We abandoned her, Admiral. We let her down. I'm sorry. I had no idea. How could we have possibly known? Yes, of course. I think we can all agree that this was another unfortunate circumstance of the colony war. What you'd call an unfortunate circumstance, I call a tragedy. You're absolutely right, Sarah. It is a tragedy. One thing that I can assure you is that the names of these men and women will never be forgotten. I'll see to it personally. Thank you, Admiral. Good luck to both of you. It's been an honor. Once we're done here, 
We should have a little talk with Sona. Poor thing's waiting for us at the lodge. Okay. Well, I mean, no, wrong button. I would trust the map, but it won't take me there. So let's just, you know, let's try it though. Why not? See where it takes us. Oh, it actually took me there. So hold on, hold on, hold on now, hold on now, hold on now. Hold on now. Will this one actually take me to where I want to go? Oh my god, it does. Game, you are broken as fuck. I love you though. You're fun. But devs, you need to fix your damn fast travel system, I swear. Water spends and, a fortune to maintain. And please stop using Creation Engine. <laughs> and use something I'd new. Say it's worth every credit. For fuck's sakes. <laughs> it's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the island full time. <clears throat> We should probably talk. There you are. I was wondering when you'd come and say hi to me. Hello, Sona. I see you found your way to the lodge without any trouble. Yeah, it was kind of hard, though. All these people around. Never seen so many people in my entire life. Yeah, it was. I guess I'll have to be brave. You're already one of the bravest people I've ever met. So, what do you think? Do you like it here, Sona? At the lodge? Yeah, this place is huge. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. You must be like a bazillionaire, Sarah. <laughs> oh, don't I wish. This place isn't mine alone. It belongs to everyone who's a part of Constellation. And I think it should belong to you too, Sona. I want you to stay here and make this your home. Whoa. Does that mean I get to go exploring with both of you? Or wait, do I get my own ship? <laughs> exactly. And this is the perfect place to begin your education. I understand. Oh, and don't worry, I learn real fast, so you better get ready to have another member of Constellation signing on for missions. I can't wait. Well, anyway, thanks for letting me stay here. I promise I won't let either of you down. Nice. I'm sure that you won't. Well, I think we should let Sona get settled. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to visit the Colony War Memorial now. I want to, uh, to pay my final respects. Lead her to the memorial. Your safe return to Hold on. the lodge will please the other members of Constellation. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, game. Uh-uh, game. No, we're not, we're not doing this. I must do a thing. Ah, fudge. I must do a thing. I must do a thing. Uh-uh. 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 Thank you. Oh, there's a bullshit barrier. May I be of assistance on your ship? There's a bullshit barrier. Bullshit barriers. Nice. Oh. What kind of map is this? We had a better map in Skyrim. Now this is a map. Uh, 
Alright, let's go do the memorial thing in a boober. It's no longer following me. That's a real flame. Okay. I don't see her. I don't see Sarah. Um, I don't see Sarah at all. Oh, there she is. Take your time, Jesus Louise, man. Take your freaking time. Nice. Look at this. All these people, their entire lives distilled down to names on a memorial. I wonder how close I came to being reduced to just a name. These people laid down their lives for what they believed in, and it cost them dearly. I served shoulder to shoulder with them, and watched some of them die. I know you meant well, but they'll always be more than a name to me. And I care about you too. There's obviously some kind of a connection between us that I think we need to discuss. Just uh -oh. let me have another moment here, and then we can head over to the waterfall. So we can talk in private. Uh oh. Am I gonna get laid? Oh wait, no, it's like not this kind of game, is it? This game wouldn't be able to be sold if it had nudie scenes in it. Or would it be okay, sold? I'm ready. Let's go. Nah, they couldn't sell it. They couldn't sell it to children if it had nude scenes in it. Heck, they couldn't even sell it, sell it if it had bare, bare boobs showing. <laughs> because children, oh my god, they can't show it up to children. Big deal, they'll see, it, they'll see it one day when they get older. Or wait, no, they have the internet. What is the internet great for? Oh yes, pornography. The internet is a wonderful thing for lots of things, and one of them is seeing people in the in to cliff dive today. people in the in the nude. So get over it. <coughs> if you don't want your children to see nudity. Don't give them access to the internet or video games, ever. Don't even give them a cell phone. At all. It's an easy fix. Actually, you know, if you, if you don't want your children to have access to nudity, don't let them play modern games, ever. God, the frame rate is still crap. Actually, what is the frame rate? Oh, hold on, I'm curious. I'm curious now, hold on. <laughs> yeah, it needs to be fixed, but eh, whatever. Yeah, just don't let, just don't let your children play modern games. 
Platinum play old games like Super Nintendo or NES or Sega, like old Sega, old PS2. Nah, maybe not. Maybe not even old PS2. Yeah, nah, not not even that. Yeah, no, nah, not even that. Like I, I'm talking like like Atari. Let them play Atari, and that's it. Let them, let them play Pong. Yeah, just Pong. Nothing else. No Mario. No, no Sonic. No, no Pokemon. No nothing. Actually, no Pokemon's fine, but only, only. Things at the lodge are too much. Pokemon's fine, but only the older Pokemon games. The newer ones, in my opinion, are garbage. They're out of ideas. Who wants to play with Pokemon that are freaking like 10 stories tall? I sure as heck don't. Or ice cream cones or keychains or... Um, a Pokemon that can turn into a lawnmower, a chandelier, a... Yeah, no. They're out of ideas. Just let them play the old ones. I That's all they need. Spot to just sort of, I don't know, melt away for a while. Oh, and don't let your kids watch um cartoons from America. They won't learn crap. It's lovely here, isn't it? <laughs> I've been from one end of the settled systems to the other. But this place, this exact spot, there's nowhere else like it in the galaxy. I hadn't thought of it that way, but you're absolutely right. I usually come up here to mull over some of the <coughs> heated debates we have at Constellation. You'd be surprised how many decisions I've made on this very spot. That's actually why I asked you to meet me up here. <clears throat> I was hoping we could talk about something very important. <laughs> I know you are. Just give me a moment. I have a lot I need to say. It's about my return to Cassiopeia. What we learned about Sona has been constantly replaying in my mind. Oh, maybe it sounds crazy, but that young girl's isolation feels like a reflection of my own life. Maybe. But for how long? I've spent my life surrounded by all sorts of people. Constellation, the Navigator Corps, <laughs> hell, even the UC military. Despite that, no matter how hard I've tried to make them a part of my life, they tend to drift away and disappear. Are you sure? For all we know, it's in my nature to keep people at arm's length. Or worse, push them away. Right now? Are you talking about Constellation? Or what exactly are you saying? Ha! Huh. <sighs> Sorry, I am... Um, I... I just need a moment to gather my thoughts. I know you want to have a serious relationship. You want to become close. So, if you're willing to take that leap of faith with someone like me, then I'm ready to do the same. This is going too fast. You're something <laughs> truly special. You know that? You've helped me conquer my self-doubt, my confidence, hell, everything. For the first time in my life, I feel 
complete. <laughs> and with you by my side, I'm convinced that feeling will last forever. You're the best thing that's happened to me in my life. I love you. Always. It's now following. Nice. So what what kind of bonuses do we get from this? Considers you an ally. Okay. So talk to her. I received a message from my mother a few days ago. Uh oh. She's returned from another one of her sightseeing cruises. Let me guess. It's time to meet your mother and then help marriage and babies. Oh, that's right. I haven't really spoken about her to you, have I? My mother lives in a fairly remote location, so we rarely speak. Tends to keep her out of my mind. Family life can slow you down. <laughs> sure. When you're younger. But as soon as you get older and they begin controlling your life, that's when you need to strike out on your own. What you can... <laughs> oh, I'm certain they felt they were doing the right thing. You see, both of my parents were diplomats working under the flag of the UC Administrative Division. After I completed my basic education, they signed me up for a one-year apprenticeship in their department. Yeah. Without bothering to ask. It's the governmental arm of the United Colonies. You know, the politicians, the diplomats, the ambassadors. Imagine having to spend most of your career hovering behind a desk. Oh, I can't even fathom anything more boring. I think that was a jab at everyone who works in basically every kind of job. Even the um, video game industry, because they kind of do work behind a desk. Wow. Okay then. Huh. I don't know how I feel about that one. Now was it also a jab at content creators? Because they're also behind a desk all day, every day. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that one. Whatever it is, just tell me. Mm. Wanted isn't the right word. Demanded would be more appropriate. For my apprenticeship, I was sent to Sidonia. My job consisted of drafting political policies and arbitrating trade disputes. The silver lining of the job was that it allowed me to spend time exploring every square inch of Mars. You have to understand, this was my first time I was alone on another world. Now don't get me wrong, Jemison is an amazing place, but for me, it was the old neighborhood. Mars was like a... a new frontier. Oh, I spent every waking moment I could exploring the planet. I was swallowed by it. Months before the apprenticeship ended, I dumped my diplomatic certification and joined the UC Navy. Of course, my parents didn't approve. We had a huge argument that resulted in all ties being severed between us. Huh. Well, that wasn't the worst of it. You see, my father was killed during the opening shots of the Colony War. I returned to Jemison for the funeral and reunited with my mother. After that, we vowed to stay in touch. Oh, aren't you sweet? Always concerned with how I'm feeling. That's why I fell in love with you. Your smile, your caring, it brightens even my darkest days. 
Listen, I'm going to be completely upfront with you. All this talk of family, it makes me wonder where our own relationship stands. We just started. But, yeah. <laughs> you mean that? You do that? For me? I've been dreaming about this moment and still... I don't know what to say. I thought she was saying her um gonna um, like ask me to marry her. I was like, we just started dating here, lady. What the frick? Or ask for children. I was like, um, please don't have any naughty bit showing in here. <laughs> yes, yes, of course, yes. <sighs> I just need a little time to think about the ceremony. I have some thoughts about how we should move forward. Ceremony. You know. I used to dream about finding the love of my life. And here you are. All I ever needed was you. Wait. Right here beside me. Did I just... Did I just pro propose marriage? She said ceremony. Did I just get engaged? Did I just get engaged? <laughs> <laughs> what the f She said ceremony, right? Did I just get engaged? <laughs> what? Did I? Did I? Okay, that water needs to be clean. Oh my god. Did I legitly get engaged? Wow. Okay. Um, that should have been an achievement, but it was not. <clears throat> I'm gonna put a cut in the video, and I will see you all later. If you all enjoyed this wonderful return to Starfield, feel free to subscribe, like, and. Hit the bell for more, and I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.